So we have before us here two very popular laptops. Well, this one's very popular with me, and this one's very popular with a lot of you out there. The Legion 5 Pro versus the Lenovo Legion 7 Slim. This is one of my favorite laptops of the year, and this is the one I've gotten the most requests for review of the year. And these two laptops are about to go head to head. Now, here are the benchmarks coming up in just a few minutes if you wanna get into all the performance details. But we're first gonna start off with the build quality, usability, and just general features of each of these laptops. First and foremost, the build quality. And let's talk about the weight and thickness of each of these laptops. As you can see right off the bat, the Legion 7 Slim is truly a slimmer laptop, and it is also a much lighter laptop. So that is going to be a big benefit if you're an on-the-go editor, creator, gamer, whatever it might be. Now, battery life is something that either one is not great, but it's, it's good. And you can see the battery life results coming up on the screen now. So as far as the on-the-go capability of these two laptops, they'll both suit you well, but they're not going to be outrageously long battery lives. They have great control in the Lenovo Vantage Center of conserved power mode, hybrid mode, a lot of different performance, balanced and quiet modes to really optimize your battery. You can even adjust the screen hertz for each of them to optimize for more battery. But at the end of the day, they can only get so much. And as you just saw those results, it's good, but not great. Now let's get into the build quality of each of these laptops. Both are put together very well. However, I just like this simplicity of the Legion 7 Slim a little better. All the edges are fit in the bottom cover to the side panel very well. It doesn't have a lot of extra. It's just simple. It's thin and it's light and it's aluminum and it has good to great build quality. The Legion 5 Pro is really good as well. It's just a little more chunky. It looks more like a classic gamer laptop. You've got these big vents along the back here. You've got this vent kind of sticking out on the side here. It's a plastic vent. And so for these reasons, I don't love the build quality as much on the Legion 5 Pro. I wish it was a little less gamer. I think that would make me very happy if it didn't have all these like chintzy little plastic pieces on it. However, the bottom cover is fit into the chassis very well. The bottom cover fits into the side panel. There's no catchy edges. So the assembly is great on both laptops. I would just say overall, this feels like a more professional laptop at the Legion 7 Slim. And this feels much more like a traditional gaming laptop. Now, this is gonna make a big difference in regards to the thermal performance. So I'm gonna pull the thermals up on the screen for each of the laptops. And these are gonna be the 4K video editing thermals at different fan modes. And as you can see, the Legion 5 Pro gets lower thermal thermal temperatures at the higher fan settings in the Lenovo Vantage Center during the 4K export. The Legion 7 Slim does good at like balanced and quiet mode. It has lower thermals, but if you want to get all the performance, you're going to have higher thermals in the Legion 7 Slim. Now, screen quality is pretty similar. They both have really good sRGB, but not so great of Adobe RGB or DCI P3. And if you're curious about the exact stats, those are coming up on the screen right now as far as brightness, color accuracy, and color gamut range. Now regarding the actual screen size, you can see we have the 16 inch on the Legion 5 Pro and we have the 15 inch screen on the Legion 7 Slim. So this would be one of the main reasons I would personally go for the Legion 5 Pro over the 7 Slim. I love the taller aspect ratio, the 16 by 10 aspect ratio screen just makes for an overall better experience. And as you saw in the results, this is also a brighter screen in the Legion 5 Pro. Now they both have webcams and here's a quick sample of each of the webcams so you can check that out. Here is the webcam on the Legion 5 Pro and a quick audio sample for you. Here is a sample of the webcam and the audio on the Lenovo Legion 7 Slim. And regarding the speakers, here's a quick audio sample of each of the models so you can hear how that sounds. Now, before we get too far along in this review, let's go ahead and check out how well these two open and close. They both open and close easily with one hand. Let's go ahead and check out the screen flex. Good bit of screen flex on the 7 Slim. 
a little bit less on the Legion 5 Pro. Um, and then they both have a little screen flex along the bottom of the screen here. Now, one thing to point out is that the Legion 7 Slim has the manual cutoff switch for the webcam where the Legion 5 Pro does not. It's gonna be a button or a setting in the Vantage Center to turn off the webcam. Now let's slide these around and check out the trackpads. Very similar trackpad. You can see that the Legion 7 Slim and the Legion 5 Pro share the exact same size. Um, however, one is black and one is more of a gray material. And here's a quick sample of me using the trackpad and keyboard so you can have an audio sample and maybe see which one you might like better. As you can hear, the trackpad on the Legion 7 Slim has kind of a deeper click than a more of a lighter like click on the Legion 7 Slim. The keyboards are almost identical. Um, you're gonna have a slightly dipped key in the Legion 5 Pro versus this flat key on the Legion 7 Slim. I like the dipped keys. They kind of like hug your fingers a little bit. So basically what that is, is like it starts high, the key kind of drops a tiny bit and then goes back up on the sides. Um, I like the keys a little bit better than the Legion 7 Slim keys, but they're very, very similar, especially that the keyboard layouts are almost identical as well. Now some fun features on the Legion 7 Slim. You can see we have this iridescent logo here, which I think is really cool. I don't really like the stylings on the Legion 5 Pro. I know I'm a little hard on Legion 5 Pro. It's just, this one feels like they really made a strong effort to get away from that gaming aesthetic and give a more professional look where this is, a classic gamer aesthetic, which I've said a few times in this review already. You can also check out the iridescence right here on the logo. And there's another iridescent logo right here. And then this bar is actually iridescent as you can see right there as well. So there's some cool little neat features on the Legion 7 Slim. Now, right before we get into the benchmarks, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of either of these models, you can head down in the description below and click one of those links. Now, if you do use that link to make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, over here in the Legion 7 Slim, we have the RTX 3060 Max-Q, Ryzen 7 5800H, 16 gigs of RAM and a one terabyte SSD. Over in the Legion 5 Pro, we have the Ryzen 7 5800H, the RTX 3070, 16 gigs of RAM and one terabyte SSD. Now I'm also going to include the Legion 7, which comes with the same processor, the Ryzen 7 5800H, but has the RTX 3060. So that'll give you an idea on how this laptop equipped with the RTX 3060 would perform compared to the Legion 7 Slim to help you with your buying decision. I'm sorry I could not get the exact match of these two laptops, but I did my best with the vendors and what they were sending me. Now keep in mind, this does have stock RAM. So if you are to upgrade the RAM, you're gonna get a little better performance out of these units. The stock RAMs have not been the best uh, this year. And so that's been one area of disappointment for a lot of people. Now keep in mind, if you wanna upgrade these laptops, this one only has one upgradable RAM configuration. So the Legion 7 Slim, you can only swap one of the RAMs. The Legion 5 Pro, on the other hand, you can swap both. So that might be advantageous to you if you wanna bump this thing up to 32 or 64 gigs of RAM. This one gets up to 24 or top out at 40 gigs of RAM. So keep that in mind. Now let's jump into the performance benchmarks. First and foremost, Cinebench R20, R23, Geekbench single core and multi-core. And as you can see, they are neck and neck in all of these tests. It's really splitting hairs between them because they have the exact same CPU. Like you saw in the thermal benchmarks, the Legion 5 Pro is gonna get better thermals because it has a little more thickness, a little better thermal system because of the thickness. This is much more tighter, so it's harder to get air through the system as much. So that's gonna be one advantage is you're gonna have a cooler laptop during some of these tests. Now moving on to the 3D modeling benchmarks, you can see that the Legion... You can see that the Legion 5 Pro with its RTX 3070 is really taking advantage of a higher VRAM card. So the Legion 7 Slim has a six gig VRAM card, whereas the Legion 5 Pro has that 
8 gig VRAM card. Keep in mind, I have included the Legion 7 there, so you can see what an RTX 3060 would look like uh, as comparison on the benchmarks. Um, so overall, if you're going to be doing 3D modeling, that 3070 does make a difference to give you some better graphic performance. However, when we move on to After Effects, you can see that the Legion 7 Slim pulls up and actually pulls ahead by about 40 points over the Legion 5 Pro. But then as we move on to the After Effects render benchmark, the Legion 5 Pro pulls ahead by about 60 points. So not actually a lot. Really, either of these laptops will work well for After Effects. Now moving on to video editing, you can see the export times coming up on the screen for both laptops. Both work really well for Premiere Pro. And as we move on to the playback, the playback's gonna be slightly better uh, as we get into B-RAW. But, <clears throat> and as we move into playback, both are gonna play back 4K without a hitch. As we move into B-RAW, we're gonna get slightly less drop frames out of that RTX 3070. I recently got some new red footage in the studio and I've run that on these laptops. It's 12 to one 6K red footage and we're seeing substantially better playback results on both of these laptops. I'm gonna be running that footage on other laptops moving forward so we can get even more accurate playback for red footage. Now moving on to DaVinci Resolve, you can see the export times coming up on the screen as well. Both had great playback in DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve is much more optimized than Premiere Pro. Most laptops that I review have no like skippiness or jumpiness. It's really a Premiere Pro issue when it comes to playback um, with these laptops. If you're considering one of these laptops for a Photoshop laptop, I'd go for the Legion 7 Slim, especially if you're gonna be doing that as your predominant task. You don't need all that GPU performance and having a thinner and lighter on the go laptop as a Photoshop you know, designer or artist really to me seems like the better move. So I'd go with the Legion 7 Slim. And of course, recapping the thermals, this is gonna apply most of video editing. As you can see at full performance mode, the Legion 7 Slim gets hot, but it doesn't stay up there for too long. After you finish you know, your task in Premiere Pro, whether that's exporting or you know, rendering out some files, the thermals come back down very quickly. At about 30 seconds, you're back down to about 60 degrees Celsius. Whereas the Legion 5 Pro stays cool for the most part, no matter what you're doing. So that will kind of give you perspective on if you want to have a cool laptop all the time, or you're okay getting a little bit of heat for the convenience of having a thin and light laptop. Overall, punch for punch, I would personally go with the Legion 7 Slim. I'm a huge fanboy, honestly, compared to the Legion 5 Pro. Because I'm a designer, video editor, and not a gamer, it really is advantageous for me to go this way because I don't need all that extra GPU performance and you know thick cooling because when you're gaming, you're running the system at like full blast the whole time. I'm only running the system at full blast for certain tasks, which is why I think the Legion 7 Slim fits my needs better. Anyway, links if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you don't miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next one.